Yo guys, so before we get into this video, I just want to talk to you about foottrading.co.uk. This is a website set up by myself and Dan, aka V273. We brought together our market knowledge into one place to help you guys trade on FIFA. There are free trading guides on here, which are literally them ones there. They teach you how to trade with special cards, icons, and silver cards. All of those are massively profitable methods on this game. We've also got paid for areas, which is £10 a month. That gets access to spreadsheets for special cards, for icons and for silvers, with the maximum buy prices and the minimum sell prices on them. You cannot lose coins. They are tried and tested, um, li literally in every market condition, and they work very, very well. We have people who have made 3.5 million coins in a week. Even people who do it once a week are making sort of five, 600k from the trading. It is very, very good. And for £15, you get access to a live deals area, which is where we're going to be putting all the live filters we come up with. As you guys have seen in the 0 to 2 million series, I'm pretty good at finding sniping filters and stuff like that. We're going to start putting those into that live filters area for you guys to make as many coins as possible. That is £15 a month for those, and we update that as often as we possibly can. You also get access to our tool, the ChemStyle Calculator, which was built. Essentially, let's say, for example, you buy a card that's not on the spreadsheet, because some aren't on the spreadsheet, we are adding lows all the time, but there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ChemStyle uh, cards on this account. But let's say, for example, you buy a card for £25,000. Uh, 25000 not 25 coins. And you say, Hunter... I'm not gonna lie, Calculate, man. it will tell you the minimum you should be selling that card for, and it's it's a really invaluable tool, it's absolutely brilliant. But yeah, like I say, £10 a month for tier 1, £15 a month for tier 2, it is a really brilliant, brilliant website. If you want to get involved, click the link down below, come over to uh, come over to foottrain.co.uk, check it out and see what you think. But for now, let's get into this video. Yo, what is up guys, welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, please do subscribe down below, click the like button, all that good stuff. Massive, massive thank you for 7,000 subs on the channel now. We gained 1,000 subs in four days. Absolutely incredible. I'm so thankful. Again, I, like I've said before, I hope you guys appreciate the grind that I'm putting in to help you guys on your grind. This is what it's all about, to help you guys get better at trading. To, I guess, make this game fun, because it can be not fun. That's the part of the problem with FIFA. I find that if you're focusing on the gameplay 24-7, this game isn't fun. Whereas if you're doing this method, League SBC method... Or if you're doing the trading on the 0 to 2 million account that we're doing, or anything like that, it makes it more fun, it makes it more enjoyable, it gives you more to do, especially in times when realistically there isn't much to do because we're all stuck indoors. But I digress, as always. Thank you though, like I say, for the support. If you want to watch me do this live, make sure you click the link and come over to Twitch. We had something in the region like yesterday of about 350 people in the stream, which was absolutely incredible. But if you do want to watch me do it live, click the link down below and don't forget to check out foottrading.co.uk for all your trading needs. You guys have loved that website so far. You've been giving us amazing feedback on it and we're continuing to improve it every single day to make it the best it can possibly be for you guys. But this is episode 12 of the League SPC Method to Glory and you guys have spoken and said you want to continue the, the grind on. So my plan now, I'm thinking, is I'm going to try and get another mid-icon done for free. So we did one in the first sort of 14 days it was live. We're now going to try and do a second one in, in, the, in the second 14 days. And then after that, we're going to start grinding towards the players and maybe going to put some polls out or get you to guys comment down below the ones you want me to aim for first. But irrelevant of anything, I think it's just worth doing this grind to keep it up. I think it keeps you guys motivated. I think it keeps you guys sort of excited to do the SBC grind. Um, and you guys seem to love this series. So I feel like, why not keep it going? We'll keep seeing what we pack, we'll keep seeing what we get, and we'll keep seeing how the grind goes. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll continue on. But, plan of action for this video and for today is, firstly, we've done marquee matchups and we did another SBC. So we've got some packs to open. We'll do that in a second. I've also been opening up bonds packs as always. Um, so I've got to convert a lot of bonds into silvers, which we will do. Again, I'll come back to you if we get anything good on those when it comes to it. Um, and then we'll be converting those silvers into goals, etc, etc, etc. And then we'll go and see if there's any league SPCs we can get done to start to continue to build the club up. Sort of just so you've got an idea of what the club is looking like at this present moment in time. We have Musonda and Crusa. We still did, we didn't even need to use those for the mid-icon last time. Um, so we have those two sat in the club right now. And we have a Thiago sat there. Which is pretty, pretty nice. We can't be too disheartened or disappointed with that. Still got Thorsby, Small and Ramsey. Those players I don't mind putting into a mid-icon. Have no issue with that whatsoever. Perisic, Quagliarella, etc, etc, etc. We've got a lot in the club. It is very, very good right now. This is the team we're going into weekend league with this week. Um, we're playing the 4-3-1-2 with uh, Griezmann and Overmars up top with Prime Moments, Grincha sat in behind. Uh, I bought Lehman. Lehman seems like an absolute beast, so I'm very happy with that. But we're going to be using that team. And the reason why I am doing uh, foot champs and weekend league and stuff like that is because it's easy cards. Just by playing the game, I get easy cards in the club for the league SPC grind. Um, so we're going to be going ahead and doing that as much as we possibly can. But for now, let's get into these packs. So we did marquee matchups. Something to remember about marquee matchups. It is built so that no matter what happens, it is profitable. So even, even if you have to buy all the players from scratch, you shouldn't lose coins if you sell at the right times and in the right way. 
But obviously, I had every single player in the club because of this grind. I didn't need to worry about it at all. We will start off with a goal players pack, see what we get from that. Fingers crossed we get something decent. But either way, again, we're using marking matchups just to re restack the club up. We use cars and players from teams that we either weren't close to completing um, in terms of the, the league itself um, or players that I know are relatively cheap to buy back at a later date should we need to. I just put all these cards up there. As you can see, the transfer pile was getting way too full of duplicates. I need to clear that off. That will be done probably after this episode. We will do the premium election just to go second. Premium election pack. Again, I know some of you might be thinking why you're not stacking packs. We don't need to with this method because... We're going, to get, we're going to get more packs between now and Team 2 anyway. So we don't need to worry too much um, about stacking up packs. Because, again, we don't really know what's coming for Team 2. We know he's a Brazilian 5-star, five 5-star five guy, which is pretty decent. Uh, Staff and A Striker are very good because I still need to do those. I still need to do Setu Bad, so that's very, very nice there as well. Um, does this guy sell at the moment? No. A couple of Korean League players are selling. Just keep check your clubs. Davidson can go up there. Starker doesn't sell. The rest of that can go to club. Can be sent away. Uh, we'll do the premium gold, then the prime election, then the prime gold, then the rare election. Rare elections are some of my favourite packs on the game this year. Um, I'll just say I've always just liked some full stuff. I think this is a board. It is a board. Just a board, but we'll take it. He's English. Give me goalkeeper in it. CDM, is that Jordan Henderson? I'll take a Jordan Henderson. Take an 83 rated. Again, didn't put anything above 81 rated, I think, into this, into marking matchups, which is solid enough. They can all go to club. Milinko, uh, Mil Mil Milivojevic, I don't think sells it too much. I know we can send for a little bit. Do you know what? We'll put him up there for now. If we have to full transfer pile up, we I'm will. Uh, Joshy, mate, thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, prime Electrum Players Pack. Is it Prime Electrum Players Pack? Nothing in that one. I always feel like the pack point gets turned down with Marky Matchup Packs. It probably doesn't. It's just something I was thinking. I don't really tend to ever pack anything great for Marky Matchup Packs. Um, and that's a theme continuing there because none of those are League SBC Silvers, which is very, very annoying. Uh, Rafa... Does he still hold a value from Tarad? No, we can go up there for now. Uh, so yeah, we've got Prime Gold Players Pack. I know some of you will be thinking the Prime Gold Players Pack's better than Rare Electrum, but I just prefer Rare Electrum Packs. I don't know why. They've always done me better. Primes don't tend to do me well. But this is a board or a walkout. It is just a board. It is Portuguese. It is sent to me. Moutinho. Take an 84 again. Nice. Can't be too disappointed ever with an 84 rated player for marking matchups. That is half decent. Anything else nice in this pack? We've got a Lovren, which is very, very solid. Kabai, I know, doesn't sell for anything, so he can go down there. Final pack from Marky Matchups. Well, this is one of the prime goal players pack wasn't Marky Matchups. That was an SBC pack. This is the final pack from Marky Matchups. And it is a board or a walkout. And it is just a board. But three boards from Marky Matchups is decent. Argentinian, centre back, Otamendi. Perfect for the Man City SBC. Cannot be annoyed with that at all. He can go straight into the Man City SBC um, for the Premier League, which I know we need to do. Fair man. We've got another Lecce defender, which means I'm probably on the verge of doing them now, which is very, very good. I really want to get Syria done soon, because again, I'm getting a lot of dupes for Syria. Uh, Danny Ceballos, I don't think sells so much. That's up for a little bit, so we'll send him up to the transfer pile. But that has been those packs. What we're going to go and do now is I'm going to go and convert some bronzes into silvers, into golds. If there's anything decent, I will show you them. I'm not going to show you the whole grind of these guys, because it's it's a bit long for you guys. Like I'm not going to show you all sort of 40, 50 silver packs we might get. Um, but if we get anything good from those silver packs, I will come back to you and show you them. I will be right back. All right, guys. So we've gone and done the bronze packs and we well, the bronze upgrade packs. And we've got 45 silver upgrade packs to do, which is brilliant. Very, very happy with that. I'm not going to show you all of them. As always, you guys have seen these enough times now not to show you them all. But obviously, if we get anything good, if we hit like the sort of 4K, 5K plus players, I will come back to you and let you know and show you them and show you the cards we've got. Um, once we've done this and opened these up, there's no need really for me at the moment to do the gold upgrades realistically because there are some goals in my club that I can do it with, but there's not masses um, of the ones outside of the major leagues. I just had a look a minute ago. So after that, we'll then go into the SBCs, see if we've got any decent ones that can be done. I do think I need to look at the Serie A, especially Brescia, because again, I'm seeing a lot of dupes now from Serie A. So doing Brescia in the long term is going to be better if I get them done, especially today because it, they are cheaper. They're not, they're not as expensive as they are normally. So I might be able to get Brescia done for, for a lot cheaper than perhaps I would do normally. But yeah, I'm going to go get it done. I will get back to you in literally about two minutes' time. All right, guys. So three packs in. First big hit, Mendoza. He actually crashed quite a bit last night in the, in the uh, dropper from the Marky Matchups. But really nice pull on him. Uh, he's, he's a sort of 3,500 coin card. At his most expensive, he can get as high as 6,000 coins. So it's a very, very nice pull for Amiens. So I'm very happy with that. 
Going to continue opening them though. And again, I'll come back to you guys if we pick up any more decent. So two packs later and another massive, massive hit. We've got Uja. Um, you guys trade or silvers or no. This guy's a very expensive striker from Union Berlin. At the moment, he's 7.5k, give or take, which is obviously quite a lot of coins either way. Uh, but he gets as high as 10k when there's no supply. So another brilliant, brilliant hit. Again, I, I can't stress it enough. Make sure you keep an eye on these sort of pools because they're the ones that you're seeing the value from. Two cards there, plus the other league SPC guys we've already got. Already well over 10,000 coins worth of player, which is a very, very solid. I will be right back again with any other good pool. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> so... As you can see, we just picked up a duplicate Dijon right back. Now, I don't think he's untradeable. So, it means I'm going to probably go and do Dijon now. I'm not going to turn down essentially an 8,000 coin silver. I need to get them done anyway. Again, there's another league league on that. I'm getting a lot of teams done, but I'm seeing dupes from a lot of clubs. So, I want to try and get as much of those two done as I can. I had the luxury of doing that because of the, the sheer amount of stuff that we packed on this grind so far. But I am going to go and compete Dijon now because I'm not going to risk, I'm not going to discard an 8,000 coin right back. It just seems pointless. Especially while silvers are quite cheap at the moment. So I'm going to go get that done and then we'll send this one to club and that'll be good for next time we come round on league and again, I will be right. All right, guys. So obviously we've got Dijon done as part of that, which is sitting there. We'll open that in a bit. But we did quite well. We got, we got obviously a few big hitters that you guys saw. We got quite a few sort of 2,000, 2,500 coin silvers, which are decent. We picked up a Mets left back um, who I had tradable already. Um, so we're able to sell him, which has been, which is solid. We can't complain too much with that. Plan now is to go to the club and just see what, we've got, what teams we've got to complete. I'm probably going to get Brescia done and bought because I've just had a look and a lot of their players are a lot cheaper than they are normally. I really want to get Syria done so we can recycle into that. The Syria and the Bundesliga tend to have the best packs as well. So realistically, when you're sitting there thinking, well, I've got one team or two teams that I'm just not getting players for or I'm getting lots of dupes, maybe consider doing those ones and buying the players you need for those ones to then recycle it, which is what I'm going to do today. A lot of them are cheap. So I'm going to go have a look at Syria. I'm going to go have a look at um, League 1. I think League 1 we're getting close to on a lot of them. Going to see what we can get done. There's going to be a coin spend here, of course there is. But as we recycle these leagues, we'll see those coins back, hopefully in the players that we pull. But we'll go get that done. I will be right back once we've got some of the leagues done and we will see you then. All right, guys. So this is the Serie A done. The most expensive team to buy was Brescia. The rest weren't too bad, to be fair. Um, Sassuolo, a little bit expensive. They've got a cam that's quite expensive, but you can work around that. Um, but yeah, not bad at all. I will take that all day long. That is Serie A done. Complete finito. We are all good with that one. Uh, we can recycle that again, which is very, very nice. And from this, we are going to pick up, I think it's Verdi, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's actually not quite a nice card again. A lot of these League SPC cards are actually really nice cards. Uh, the Tonali in there is very, very good as well. But three, four star, five star, again, solid card. Really well rounded. It's like finishing's a little low, but you can pump that up. But we're going to be taking Verdi, an 87 rated card. Again, we're already making good moves in terms of the players that we need for the 88 rated squad for the mid icon again, which is very, very good. What I'm going to go and do now is I've already got packs from Syria. I'm going to see if there's any teams I can get done from Syria to add to those packs and we'll go and open them straight away after I've done that. I will be right back once it is. All right, guys, so we've gone and refreshed at Syria and obviously we've got uh, Juventus done, we've got Roma done, we have got Lazio done, we have got Bologna done, and Al Al Atalanta done, Atalanta. Um, we've got quite a few for the other teams. I calculate I've got six, but again, I'm sticking to the seven rule as always. Um, but I did, we've got 12 quite decent packs to open up. Fingers crossed we can pull something out of this. We have a mega pack in here and you guys know what I'm like with mega packs. So packing a mega pack in something from the mega pack would be nice. But again, we're just looking to recycle realistically here. Just keep recycling. You can't always hit something big. So as long as we're hitting sort of decent players, league SPC players, I'm relatively happy. I can't be annoyed at all. Uh, but it's another league done as well, which is very, very good. Uh, we'll get rid of all this stuff here. Keep this perfect. Anchor's quite nice. Uh, can sell that. We'll put Bergui, Andre, Andre up there and the rest can be sold. Sensor Club, we are sorted on that. Uh, small Gold Players Packs, got two of these. Again, the small and minor packs, all we're looking for again, like I say all the time, is just to recycle more League SBC players. We're not expecting to pack anything from them. You never know, it can happen, but we're just looking to continually recycle players. Um, that can all go to club, easily enough. Another Small Gold Players Pack again. And again, we're looking for Serie A players here. We'll just refresh the league. So as many Serie A players as possible is good for us. Um, just to start doing those packs again and getting through that league. Anything decent in this pack? Again, so we've just got two Atletico players. I'm pretty sure um, I've got to do Atletico Madrid. So that's not too bad at all. So we've got small red gold, small prime, mega pack, prime electrum, small prime electrum. We'll do the premium mix and then the small prime electrums and see what we get from those. Um, I think I got, did I get a walkout from a premium mix before? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure we've got... Is it a from that? I'm always certain we did get a walkout from one of these packs. 
But again, the silvers and bronzes in these packs are always nice usually. Again, a couple there, not too bad. Spot of what down we need to do again soon. But sell done. Uh, Tevez can go up there with Lunin and he can go up there. We'll sort these guys out afterwards. I won't sit here listing them for you because it would extend up the time on this video. Small Prime Electrums. Again, we're looking for good silvers in these. Uh, at the sort of bare minimum, that's ideally what we want. Um, you don't, I don't, the small packs, I don't think you tend to hit too often, although uh, I've seen people, like I say, pack Prime uh, Icon Moments Nedved. A shout out to Bronze. So we've got a guy called Bronze who has subscribed to the website and made three and a half million coins in a week, which is nuts. Um, and he's also then Min League SPC grinding with a profit. And he packed Prime Icon Moments Socrates last night. Uh, and then he cried in, the, in chill trading in Discord, which is brilliant. So GG's to you, Bronze, if you're watching. I mean, I know you're watching because you watch all the videos, but that is absolutely nuts. What a pull. One point, I think it was 1.8 million alone from that card, which is, which is ridiculous. Uh, we've got a valid belief player, which is quite nice. We'll take that without a doubt. So now we have two small prime gold, small rare, rare gold mega packs. So we're going to go to two small primes. So far, no boards or walkouts, but again, it's not the end of the world. I just want to cycle, recycle Syria out. It's wasting coins by not recycling it, so we've recycled it. I have the luxury, of course, with the amount that we've made from this method that I don't need to stress too much about coins. But obviously, I want to do it as, um, as sort of economically as possible without sort of spending too many coins. Uh, but I had to refresh Syria out. Brescia was just taking ages. I weren't hitting them in packs, so I had to get it done. Um, so we went and did that. This is a board I'll walk out, at least. It is a board. We'll take a board. It is Spanish, which is what something you don't really ever want to see. Goalkeeper. It is Kepa. So it's not too bad. An 84. We'll take a Kepa. You can never be annoyed with an 84 from this method at all. Ribery, which I needed for Fiorentina, which is good. Those ones can all go to club. How is Ribery still 82 rated, by the way? How? Uh, small rare gold. Rare gold. Um, mega pack. Prime electron. So we'll do the rare gold pack. Again, here you're looking for draft tokens, stuff like that. They're always nice ones. Let's get a draft token again. That's money goes back into the club. We're not going to get a board or a walkout from it. So ideally, we do get a, a draft token. That would be brilliant. Make it happen, EA. Go on. Make it happen, EA. No, no, no. Go on, there's Bolly Jansen. We've got three players in there. Four players, sorry. Which is quite nice. That can go there. So three packs left. We'll do the Prime Electrum. Then we'll do the Small Rare Gold. Then we'll do the Mega Pack. I think that's the way we'll do it. Mega Packs have been kind to me. Actually, we'll do Mega Pack first. Whenever I do Mega Pack last, I don't do well on it. So... Do the Prime Electrum. It isn't a board or walkout from this one. Nothing special. Can we get a decent silver at least? Nope, we can't. Not, all. not even remotely. You can't cross that up. There's not a decent silver in there at all. Um, right, we'll do the Mega Pack now and then the Small Rare Gold Players Pack. Not the best pack from this. Not the best sort of cards that we could have got. But it is what it is. Nothing you can really do from it. I think this is a board or walkout. No, it's not. It is not. Thought about to hit up another big one with a mega pack, but not quite. It was not to be. Um, Rugani, that's really jarring because I've just done Juventus. And I could have bought him or used him instead of buying. I think I had to buy, buy, buy Bentacor, is anyone I had to buy in the end. Uh, we will clear out all this stuff here. That can all stay. That can go, that can go, that can go up there. Easy. That can all go. Should have kept with that German that, um, goalkeeper reflexes. Small red goal pack. Last one for this set. And we're going to have a look and see if we can do any more, any more from other leagues. Um... This is a board or a walkout, from what I can see. Yeah, it is a board or a walkout. I'm not gonna lie. It's just a board. If you thank you for the follow, I appreciate you, bro. It is Dutch. It is sent to me. Is it one Alden? I'll take that. Not too bad. It could be a lot worse. Don't know what one Alden sells for, but it might be one worth selling into weekend league, as we are in weekend league at the moment. And Georgia and Nelson Tomato. That is a nice pack. There's some good value from that pack. I cannot complain too much. Um, these guys will go up to transfer park because I wouldn't put them into a league SBC anyway. Jorginho can stay in the club. But yeah, going to go and see if there's any more leagues. Uh, we, I'm, I'm always certain there are more leagues we can get done. Going to go and have a look at that and I will be right back. All right, guys. So we've gone and got done some of the Premier League ones, um, like Liverpool and stuff like that that we had ready to go, United. We've gone and got a few done from, a couple done from the La Liga Santander. We've got Amiens done. You saw me pack the left mid earlier on, which meant realistically we only had to spend about, I think, 1,500 coins to finish them off, which is very, very nice. The next episode is going to focus on those minor leagues. We need to look at Ligue 1 a lot. Not that they're a minor league, but they're minor compared to the sort of other leagues um, and stuff like MLS and whatnot. We're going to be focusing on those next time. We're also going to be looking at converting those silvers and, and, and those sort of non-rare goals that we've got in the club, converting those into rare goals if we need to do that. Um, but we'll go with that in the next episode because I do want to start thinking about the 81 pluses we have on the market at the moment. Market, you know what I mean, in the tab. Um, but yeah, we've got some decent packs. This was from Amiens, a prime silver players pack. You guys know I'm happy to get a silver players pack. I don't mind that at all. If we can get decent silvers from it, it is always a nice, a nice sort of thing to get. And you, you need to rely upon these silver packs. People neglect them way too much. And people saying, I've got those silvers and loads of goals. I'm like, have you opened a silver pack? They're like, no, I'm like, that's why. That's your problem. Um... We, do, we are going to finish off the Libertadores, but there is 
I was sort of changing my mindset as to whether or not I bother with them again because I just find them frustrating and annoying to do. So if whether or not I bother to continue doing those ones, I may just start selling those players and making good profit back from those cards. Especially the bronze pack ones, you can make a lot of coins from those. Um, but this is a jumbo gold pack, I think. I don't know where this came from. Is it Valencia? I think it was a jumbo gold pack, which I was surprised by. It's not a very good pack for, for the players they want to ask you for. Although I think that is a recurring theme this year. A lot of the packs are a bit average, but there are some decent ones. Um, and it still works. We didn't, don't really sure we get this. God, this is, but we will for now. More cards to sell, which will obviously replenish the coin total in the club at the moment. Um, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack is what we're going to hit up now. Anything decent in this? Nope, not at all. Pack luck may be turning, lads. After all the joys we've had recently, the pack luck could well be turning back to what it should have been from um, from before. We were, we're not getting too many great packs at the moment. That, that's for certain. Um, let's see what these guys here are doing. Two more duplicates that can go up there. I'm going to take these guys down there. We'll keep. We'll get rid of the gloves and they're going to use it. We'll keep those, those ones out. I need, to, I need to clean the club up. It's something I've got to do in the next couple of days. So rare mix, mixed players pack. We'll go with that one for now. Rare mixed player packs are not decent. are not bad at all. They're decent. I've packed some decent stuff from those this year. Mixed players pack. I'm not expecting to have anything in it, but it would be nice again to have a decent silver, a decent bronze, stuff like that. It's, that's all you really look for from these packs. Um, he's not a bad pull at all, Shiki. He sells for a little bit. Again, even more dupes at the moment. So I've got to be mindful of that. This is why I'm spending a bit more coins at the moment on doing some of the teams because there are. I'm get, I am getting a lot of dupes. Um, Electrum players pack. But the thing about those dupes, I'll be able to sell them. You'll see the coin total sort of punished into the next episode as we start to sell these cards. Um, again, here, Electrum players pack, looking for silvers and, and bonzes. Not too stressed about the golds. But you can see the club is starting to more and more, it's starting to get stacked more and more every single day. If you see these duplicates, we're getting packs now. It's really becoming very easy to do the packs. It's not difficult at all. Um, we are going to do the premium Electrum, then we'll do the rare gold pack, prime Electrum, and then the rare mixed. I think that's the way we'll do it. I think that's the best way, best way of doing it. What was this pack? Was this a premium electrum? So again, a decent a decent silver would be nice. Uh, he sells for a little bit. Nothing nothing incredible. Um, Misaccio sells for a bit as well. Uh, this guy here, does he sell for anything? Aquino? A little bit. Nothing terrible. Nothing incredible. That can all go to the club. We've just got rid of Addison, so we put him back in. Not Addison, Adrian, so we can put him back into the club again. Uh, we'll do the rare gold pack. Again, like I said in the last segment, we're hoping for sort of draft tokens in this. I don't tend to hit much on rare gold packs. I think they are some of the worst packs on this game. Um, completely not worth it in terms of value whatsoever. They are horrendous packs. Um, but yeah, we'll see what it is. Anything from this pack? Not massively. Some more squad fitnesses that can be sold. Um, I'm going to get into the habit of selling those as well because, again, that's coins coming back into a club that I can use. I've got loads of squad fitnesses in my club. I don't need the extras. Uh, we will do the Prime Electrum and then we'll do the Rare Mixed Players pack. See if we hit anything from these. Prime Electrum it is a board or a walkout, which is nice. Not a walkout, just a board, but again, not not, not going to complain ever. Dutch, sent them in, it's going to be one album again, isn't it? No, it's not, it's the Young, nice. 85 hit, I'll take that. I'll check his value, and if he's higher than the normal 85, then we'll sell him. If he's not, we'll use him for the, for the one of the squads. Um, and the Pyre as well, that's a very, very nice pack. I cannot be too annoyed with that. Um, we'll probably keep him for now. The Pyre doesn't sell much at all, so he can go to the club. But solid pack, that, very, very solid pack. Transfer pass starting to get full. But final pack is a rare mixed players pack. If we hit something brilliant, if we don't, it's still been a very successful episode. We've got the Serie A done, which is very, very good. Finding cycle around that. It is a board or a walkout. It is just a board. Just a board. No walkouts in this episode, unfortunately. But Uruguayan, something like that, Jimenez. There we go. 285 rated cards. I'm sure, I'm sure it was 85. Yep, 285 rated cards to end this episode off, which is very, very nice. Anything else lurking in the pack? Not massively, not really. Um, him there selling for, for like sort of 10k at the moment, which is solid. One pair, I don't think, sells anything for us. soon. nice, it's quite cheap. It's not too deep either way. These can go up there. Then get sent to the club. But lads, that's going to be the end of the video. Like I say, next episode, we will be focusing on the minor leagues and all that sort of good stuff. And yeah, we'll be keeping it grinding out. We have 13 days now to grind a second free mid icon, which we'll be doing. Uh, in between, I'm going to try and sell a lot of stuff in this club to get that all sorted out. But do make sure you check out the Zero to Two Million series, which goes live every morning at 9.30. Make sure you, uh, you've dropped a subscription if you're new around here. And check out foottrading.co.uk for all your trading needs. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I will speak to you soon.